Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. Well, this time last night, we were hearing rumbles of thunder, thunder here in the studio as those thunderstorms moved through the area. Some of them dropping hailstones up to one, almost two inches in diameter out towards Ballinger as well as El Dorado. We also saw some gustier winds. In fact, the highest wind gust reported out towards Mertzen at 67 miles per hour. Now, as we kind of look at our current radar, though, we still see some showers lingering out towards the Midland area, out towards I-20, but not expecting any of those rain showers to make it here in the Concho Valley. If anything does, it wouldn't be very significant. Maybe some sprinkles on the windshield, but otherwise, it's going to be a relatively quiet night. All those little bit of showers are going to kind of fizzle out as they kind of continue off towards the east. We do see it. Uh, mostly clear skies for much of Texas. The really only showers and clouds we're seeing are out towards those panhandle again as we see some of that moisture move in towards the area. All that expected to stay up towards the north. We did get those rain totals from yesterday's showers and storms again. Wall probably the winner at 0.65 inches of rain. Mertzen got six tenths of an inch right here at San Angelo right at half an inch, two tenths of an inch out towards Big Lake, and then 12 hundredths of an inch for Junction. So again, some beneficial rain, certainly welcomed across the area given how dry it's been, not just for Texas, but for us in the Concho Valley. So we might see slight improvement thanks to the rainfall from yesterday, but again, no major changes. We're going to still need several days of rain before we really start to erode these drought conditions across the area. Temperatures right now in, da in the area looking at 50s for much of the area. You do have 140 on the map, 49 out towards Coleman, 52 in Brady, 55 in El Dorado, and one of the warmer spots, 58 degrees in Ozona. Again, that's a big change from yesterday, about 20 to 25 degrees cooler than this time yesterday because that cold front came through. Again, really dropping those temperatures. And as we kind of go through the next few days, we'll start to warm conditions up. 55 degrees right now in downtown San Angelo. Finally seeing those winds die down, only six miles per hour. We're seeing those calmer winds across much of the area. But those winds have been no more out of the northwest. That kept temperatures on the cooler side, below average, in fact, for the first time in several days. As we go through, again, the next few days, we'll see those winds pick back up from the southwest, and that's going to warm us up in towards the weekend as well. Again, calmer conditions for much of the area. We're still seeing single digits or calm conditions. So, again, a nice calm evening. Big change from what we saw yesterday with those breezier conditions and those thunderstorms. Clear skies, temperatures dropping into the mid 40s for us tonight. And again, continuing to see those winds decreasing as we go through the overnight. Tomorrow, temperatures are going to start to warm up, getting into the low 70s. Plenty of sunshine and those northwesterly winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we look at our, our level, as we look at our upper level pattern, this trough will begin to push off towards the east. That allows the warming to return for the Conjo Valley as we finish up the week and head into the weekend. So again, some great weather to kick off rodeo, including the rodeo parade on Saturdays. A lot of people heading downtown. Again, we're going to be looking at warmer conditions as we go in towards the weekend and in towards next week as well. Won't be until early next week that we start to see a slight chance of some rain showers. Not nearly as widespread as what we saw last night. Again, as we go into Sunday and even on to Monday, we'll start to see some spotty showers, mostly off towards the northeast. So again, not a complete washout that everyone was going to get in on the action. Just a slight chance of some of those rain showers. Otherwise, pretty quiet conditions for the next couple of days. Breezy conditions, warmer for the weekend, just in time for rodeo.